What is going on fellow photoshoppers? This is Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create and save your customized gradients. Awesome. So the way we're going to start out with this is make sure you have your gradient tool selected here. Um, if you can't find it, it's underneath the paint bucket tool if the paint bucket tool is selected. So go ahead and select that. Now click on the thumbnail here of your gradient. And this brings us to the gradient editor. We've got a whole bunch of presets here. And if you're missing these, go ahead and click on this uh, gear here. This is your options. Go to reset gradients and then hit OK. And it'll reset it so that you have these gradients. Now you are able to edit your gradient here, as you can see. So go ahead and select the gradient that you want it that uh, resembles close to what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this black and white one. The uh, next thing you're going to do is you're going to name your gradient and name it whatever it's going to be, not what it is right now. So we're going to do um, uh, stupid rainbow. That's what we're going to call it. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to hit new because it's going to save this with all these options that you have here. You want to hit new when you have your gradient finalized. So we've got gradient type here. We're going to go solid or we're going to go noise. And you can see what noise does here, but most of the time you're going to stick with solid. It's the easiest. Um, the next thing um, that we're going to do is we've got the smoothness here. And the smoothness uh, can go from 0 to 100%. And it just de determines how smoothly the colors of the gradient blend together. So uh, that's just what smoothness is. So if I bring it down, the gray, the colors aren't going to blend with each other that well. But um, all right, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and change this back to stupid rainbow because I changed it because of the uh, noise. And now we're going to start messing with some of the colors here. Now you mess you use the colors down here at the bottom. So if I double if I click on this color here, I can click on the color down here and then use my color picker to pick a color that I uh, that I wanted to use. So this one looks like it's out of the range. I'm going to hit OK. Um, and now we've got our color that I want to use. And my other color down here is white, so I'm going to select that and change that color to something else I want to use, like maybe this green. Let's make it an, a bright green. So now we go from red to green, and uh, this is how our gradient works out. Now we can add other colors in between as well. If we just go to where uh, my finger or where the uh, cursor goes into a finger and click, you drop down another marker where you can also drag it around and put it in the area where you want your next um, where, you, where you want your next color to be. So I'll bring in like a blue here. And now we've got it going from red to blue to um, green. Now if you don't want that there, you can just click on it and drag it right off and it'll go away. So that's how you do that. Um, one thing I wanted you to see or notice is that there's these little diamonds here. And if I click those and drag them, it's going to change where the gradient or how quickly the gradient goes from one color to the other color depending on what side you draw it. Uh, drag that towards and um, you can use control Z to bring it back to where it was before in the middle if you really need to so to get off those click on a different color and have those different you can select the different colors and it'll show what is in between them with these uh, the diamonds there um, location here you can set that I'll set this to like 80% and you can see that it goes to where 80% would be on the gradient. So if I put this at 0%, it's going to be in the beginning. You can see this one's at 49%. So if I want it in the exact middle, so this is how you do things precisely, there you go. Now it's at 50%. So if you need to do things precisely, you would and had four colors, 0, 25, 50, 75, and then 100. So that would be actually five colors. But um, you guys get the idea. So. So you're probably wondering what these black arrows up here do. Now these black arrows up here are for the opacity. And if I click on one of those, I'm able to change the opacity at the uh, stop that I have here. That's what these are called. 
And if I change this down to zero, you can see that the opacity is gone now. And now um, it goes to where this other stop is here. So that's where the opacity goes. So it works just like the colors, but with opacity. So if I wanted to, I could bring another one up here and make this 100% and the two edge ones 0%. And then I get a, this would be like ideal for something like a, a gradient or a radio gradient where I could emanate out and gradually get, um, uh, gradually go out to a transparent gradient. It's good for blending stuff in. So when you are done and then you have the gradient that you want, go ahead and hit OK. Oh, I didn't name it again. I, it changed. Uh, I never catch it when it's changing on me. Stupid rainbow. And then I'll hit new. And now you can see that it is down there. So if I go ahead and hit OK and try to use my gradient, let's put it on radio and bring it out. You can see uh, what it makes. <laughs> so this is how to make uh, the your own custom gradients. And um, that's pretty much it for that part. Now, if you want to save your uh, gradient as a preset, click on it and then hit save. And it'll save your uh, gradients for you there. So that's easy enough. And then if you want to load those gradients back up, just click on load and it'll bring you to where your gradients actually are. So that's easy enough. Um, it, it's the same as with any of your preset editors like your brush or anything like that. So just remember that. And uh, that's all there is to uh, creating your gradients. And now you guys have a lot more control over using gradients and the um, opacity of your gradients and things like that. So hopefully you guys learned something. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. See you guys later. Have a good one.